there's this ex this extraordinary inefficient process and you know the if you if you just take a step back and look at the whole cycle of it this is in a nutshell what what lng is so we're going to flood a whole stretch of like 50,000 acres actually of farm and forest land in the Peace Valley to create power. We're going to take enormous volumes of water out of the northern boreal muskeg lakes, rivers, streams. We're gonna pump that underground with chemicals using enormous amounts of energy. We're gonna, with all these trucks and compressors and all the things that Ben was talking about, we're then gonna extract that gas, we're gonna send it to a processing plant, and we're gonna flare off a certain amount of it, use a whole bunch of energy to, to, to process it and then pump it through compressor stations all across our province in eight, 900 kilometer long pipelines. And then we're gonna get it to Kitimat and we're gonna take some of that power from that dam and we're gonna let them burn enormous amounts of fossil fuels to create the power to turn this into liquid, to compress it 800 times, to freeze it, turn it into liquid, put it on a ship. That ship is then gonna cannibalize probably another 7% of, uh, of its cargo. It's gonna burn or bleed off in order to power the voyage to get it to that Asian market. Meanwhile, there's another tanker loaded with our raw logs headed for the same place, powered by bunker diesel, to take it all to a Chinese factory where this gas then gets burned to create power to process the logs with cheap labor into tables that we then put on another ship and take all the way across the Pacific back to Vancouver, put it on a truck, powered by diesel, drive it to Walmart where we get in our single occupant vehicles because we don't have public transit because that's not where we're putting the subsidies right now. And we're going to drive to Walmart so also we can save $5 on that table. It's going to end up in the landfill two years later. Yeah.